Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope everybody's okay and it's good to see you. And we come to our last part of our series on atheism and scholarship. I just wanted to do this series because I felt I had something to contribute. A number of years of studying theology at high level, some of the best theologians, and I've studied in depth primary and secondary sources concerning atheists and what they say at the highest scholarly level and I felt I had something to share and to, to give you some food for thought. Some of the atheists out there have heard these things before but I felt that it was worth reiterating again. I will be putting a bibliography as I've said underneath um, this video. But um, Alistair McGrath's work on atheism is a helpful start. Um, if you look at his books, if you type in Alistair McGrath and Google Books, uh, atheism some of his books will come up, uh, The Dawkins Delusion for example, will give you some helpful background material to what I've been saying at an academic level. But I would encourage you to read the atheist textbooks yourself, God is Not Great by Hitchens, uh, The God Delusion by Richard Dawkins, The End of Faith by Sam Harris, read them for yourself and have a look at them and go through the series and see whether what I'm saying is true as you read those books. So I would encourage you to go and read them and I encourage you to read Professor Hart on um, The Atheist Delusion uh, is also very helpful and um, just thinking of another book that uh, Does God Believe in Atheist by Blanchard Does God Believe in Atheist by Blanchard is also a helpful book and um, Can Man Live Without God by Rabbi Zacharias is a, is a helpful book on atheism as well. Um, I, I hope to do a series, a 10 part series on atheism and the love of God and I feel I owe it to the atheist community because so many of them have got to know me and I just want to reach out to you and I want to do a, a, a series of meditations and I hope that's going to be a blessing to you in the next few days but this channel is about other world views we're going to be looking at Islam a lot and Buddhism and Hinduism etc uh, it's not just about atheism I just want to finish off with some thoughts on uh, atheist blog sites atheist blog shows atheist YouTube sites and famous atheists on YouTube and who are using the scholars that I've mentioned as propaganda attacking Christi the Christian faith. Very often these YouTube atheists, for example take the magic sandwich show, very often Aaron Ra, Thunderfoot, non-stamp collector, DPR Jones, uh, Concordance, um, Coffee with Claire, No Plum 99, I'm not saying that they don't know things, they're, they're very clever people and they know a lot about their own particular subjects but from my scholarly perspective, someone who is trained in theology who's been in seminaries, who's been in university seminars and lectures who sat down with professors of theology some that are Christian and some that are not Christian what I found is these YouTube atheists are not trained in theology and yet they've set themselves up as people who know about theology and know how to crit critique Christianity and so for example when Aaron Ra talked about Luther someone who I've studied in depth primary sources I've studied many of Luther's primary source material uh, when Aaron Ra's mentioned about Luther he didn't know what he was talking about he hadn't done any real research at all when No Plum 99 talked about biblical theology he'd not done any research when he talked about some theologians like John Piper 
he doesn't even really know John Piper's theology or work in depth and I do um, when Thunderfoot talks about the Bible he has very little understanding of biblical theology and, it, and it's all for, there for everybody to see so when you look at these top YouTube atheists and such as non stamp collector who is an amateur when it comes to theology they get away with it because they're witty and they are able to psycho babble with science and present themselves as if they're intelligent concerning science so they hoodwink people but when you get them on theology their ignorance is clear for everybody to see well it's clear for everybody to see but there are very few people who are actually exposing them uh, for the ignorance that they show in theology and the proof is in is in the eating I've, I've challenged non-stamp collector who said he would wanted to debate me but he he's run off about that but people like Aaron Rod, DPR Jones and non-stamp collector they, they won't have academic debates and that's a massive problem because it shows you that they haven't really got the scholarship to back up what they're saying if these major scholars like Dawkins have a lot of anger and prejudice don't tackle the best Christian scholars then it's not surprising that these people like Aaron Rahn and Thunderfoot and non stamp Collector and Magic Sandwich Show and DPR Jones are pumping out ignorance and it's just anger really and prejudice towards Christianity and it's not based on any real in-depth research again I've challenged these people to academic debates but they're not interested in that all they're interested in is a creating controversies personal controversies like Venom Fang X or or um, making explicit with his um, with his um, antics concerning Skype and me they, they create these personal controversies which get personal and nasty but it's nothing to do with the arguments of scholarship and intellectual scrutiny so be wary of these YouTube atheists on YouTube be very wary of them and realize that they don't really are not really interested in scholarship if they are they would come to me and they would offer me academic debates but they won't and they know me quite well on YouTube alright take care now